I did not think about how I was going to review this guy. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back to the 13 Spooky Reviews in 13 Spooky Days. There's a rhyming now. So yes, this is one of my biggest mocks ever. This is my custom Bionicle G2. I guess it was G2. Um, I sometimes use it with G1 characters too. But, uh, Makuta. So, I made this figure uh, a while ago. Um, I made him right after the Vildir Makuta contest because I did not win. Um, my Makuta was terrible. Um, but then again, I was more on Lego parts than what was it called? <laughs> Bionicle parts. So I had like less time to actually come up with something to build. Um, and it was really hard because in Lego, you still really annoyed me. Like I've never been happier with you. Because you made the one fatal mistake, not releasing the Makuta mask. Um, but yes, this is my mock. This is a, my biggest mock. It actually is um, my build, my biggest general Lego one. Because sometimes I have him more crouched down, but when he's fully extended, like, I can fully extend his legs. Uh, sometimes my legs don't like to be even. They like to move in sometimes, but he, he he gets pretty tall, um, and his head is hunched over right now. If his head was fully extended, um, yeah, this is him. Hey, my pennies. Um, yeah, this is him. It's freaking beast. Um, so I do not have a tape measure with me. If I did, I would measure how tall he is. He is. A little taller than my uh, Toa Mata Nui, so if you have Toa Mata Nui, you know how tall this guy is. He's the exact same height. He's actually a little bigger, but I like to crunch his head down a little so he looks a little smaller. But I do want to give... Actually, I'll try to get him down more in frame. I don't know how I can. Oof. This is taking a lot. This is not a good choice. Um, but I'll get him crouched down like this. He looks kind of good. Alright, so I'm going to explain the lore of my Makuta. Because mine is way different. Um, my Bionicle universe was never going to be the same as Legos. So, Akimu, Makuta, and Toamata Nui are brothers. But, there's a fourth one. If you can guess, um, if you're a Bionicle fan, he's from G1. Um, he's green. I'll just give you that. If you can guess him, put him in the comments below. Um, anyway, uh, he's their third, he's their fourth brother. So they are four brothers, and they each are gifted with mass. Mass of creation, mass of time, and mask of destruction. Now, there were other masks that were created, the Masks of Shielding, the Golden Masks, which were the sacred ones, and were suited only for Toa, such as Matanui, but Ikimu and Makuto were not blessed with that power. So, they each looked pretty much like Ikimu when they first started out life, and they created their own island. Matanui became one island, Ikimu became another island, and Makuto became another island. But what happened is when when they decided to bring on when they let villagers onto their island, they started attacking them. And then Makuta decided to attack Akimu and uh, Toa Matanui and his fourth brother. If you can guess in the comments below, you'll get a shout out. Okay, I don't know. I I, I don't know. Just no. Nah. Uh, so he so they started fighting, and Makuta. Gained his shadow form, which is this form. And he became as tall as Toa Marinui, and he fought him. And when he did, he died and went to the Shadow Realm. He owns the Shadow Realm now. And basically then the story picks off with the Toa going on the islands. And Akimu decides to help them because Toa Marinui, to keep Makuta down and away, formed his entire body into the islands, into other islands. And Matanui, an island named after him, is his face. 
But of course, Bakuda is pretty strong, so he's killing Mata Nui, and then the Toa have to go get the Mask of Life to bring him back. While the Mask of Time was lost when Toa found it. When three Toa found it. And the other three found the other half and almost destroyed the entire time. Anyway, that's most of my Bionicle story. I'm still writing it. And maybe I will do stop motion if there's enough people who enjoy it. Um, so again, just like the Ghost Rider review and the anti-hero customs, this is more going down to my roots. My favorite stuff that I like to review. Because I love reviewing in Lego because it's like, you don't have to be like, oh, well, this is what you can do with the figure. You're like, this is what you can do with the figure. Like, you just get excited with Lego because you created it. So, it's always fun. Uh, this guy is my biggest mock. I really don't like putting this guy on my shelf or f doing a review of him. That's why it took so long. That's why my Maku my Toa Mata Nui one will not come out anytime soon. I'm still trying to work out how I'm going to do it because my review space is way too short for Toa Mata Nui to do it. So, anyway, uh, the legs are General Grievous's legs, but they are redesigned a little bit, especially in the feet. Um, the feet were totally redesigned. A little bit still stayed from Grievous, but not too much. The chest is really different from Grievous. The shoulders are attached the same way that Grievous had them. And then the arms are totally different. Uh, he has very skinny arms. I don't know how to bulk up the arms really, like, menacingly. Because, um, I didn't know how... I don't know how I should fill this out. Because I want the other side to be red, too. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them for me in the comments below. Anyway, we'll take a look at the face. Uh, it's the Skull Grinder mask. Um, which I just used the monster piece. And I put a red translucent thing and a yellow face. Which gives it like a really, oops, a really creepy look. Ooh. Um, I am proud of this guy. Uh, this guy was one of the mocks that took a long time that I was really proud of. Um, and you can get a lot of poses with him. He can get the, oops, he can get the rapper album look. He can, of course, get the... You shall die! Blah. Look. And you can get a lot of poses with him because these shoulders do move in and out. Um, I'm kind of rethinking this entire review because he's way too big. And you can get the... My ring! My precious! <laughs> so, damn it. This does happen a lot. Um... Sometimes the friction joints do kind of get in the way. Now, I was going to do a parts count for this guy um, because I like him um, a lot. And a lot of pieces are shared from him and Skull Grinder because I feel like Skull Grinder was made in Makuta's image. And um, same with all of the Skull characters. They were sort of created in his image uh, of being sort of like him, which is sort of probably something related to God. I don't know. Uh, I was a kid when I wrote this stuff. Not actually a kid. I was like, 200. I'm not telling you my age. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yeah, he does have the skull grinder pieces that he added on his shoulder. Um, he has a lot of pieces from skull grinder because I got that figure. And I was like, oh, I love this. And then I took him apart. <laughs> like, I loved him so much, but he wasn't really important to the story. Same with all the G1 villains. I mean, Generation 2 villains, except for Umarak. They all weren't really important, so I had no problem with uh, destroying them. If I would have had a problem with destroying the Bowrock and just tearing them apart, because they were important. They had, uh, and same with the, some of the villains, like the Makuta figure. I didn't want to take them down. But they never released a Makuta figure, so I ripped apart all of my G2 villains. I only got Skull Grinder and... I'm one of the other Skull Rangers thingies. Um, but I like this figure. He's um, probably one of my favorites. Uh, I was going to give him a, a Skull Spider face, but that would have been bad because really they're against the Skull Spiders. Um, now the hands are probably my least favorite part about this figure. 
I don't know how I should do this because if I do the axle part, it just sticks out like this. If I do this part, you can get more of a natural look. And if I don't do that, then he has no thumbs. <laughs> um, but uh, the hands are just feet, um, nothing more. And then they have translucent claws and silver claws. Um, this one does have a silver one. Uh, I just ran out of parts. And I did want it to kind of look like he's not perfect. But he can be like, uh, so this is going to take a while. Um, articulation. I'm not going to go over it because Bionicle characters, you can get a lot. Uh, pieces, I'm not going to go over. Red, dark red, translucent, black, gunmetal. That's really all you need for this figure. And um, all you need to do him is just a lot of pieces, a lot of patience, a lot of parts, and a lot of fun. Because uh, he was fun when I was making him. I know. This video seems like I stretched out because of the whole origin part. It's not. This is actually like I was going to cut out the entire origin part. I probably am. Um, maybe I'll leave it in just because it's kind of fun. But I'm not going to go over articulation or anything. I'll just kind of give you a nice look of the figure. Top to bottom. Um, and if you do make this figure, please show me. Uh, if you make some version of this figure, please show me. Make a video and then post it to YouTube and then just give me the link in my... Or tell me that you posted it in my comments. I'll go check it out and I'll probably enjoy it. Um, and if you are a Bionicle fan, please talk to me. I love talking to people who are Bionicle fans. That's why I love the Discord servers that are. Anyway, thank you for watching the 13 Spooky Reviews and 13 Spooky Days. Um, we're getting down to the wire. Ooh. Um, anyway, I did hope that you enjoyed this series. Uh, maybe I'll do it again with Christmas, and I'll do it again with... Uh, I don't know. I'll just start doing these again. I'll just start doing these reviews, because I do enjoy them. Anyway, thank you for watching. You're amazing if you've stayed through till these 12 minutes, because that really helps me out. Um, not really, I just enjoy making these videos for you. If you watch 10 seconds of it, I don't care. Um, thank you for watching this again. Remember to do anything that you want in my comment section. You can, don't swear, but you can like tell me what you think about this figure. I, I, I'm accepting of mean things. I am. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Outro.